Hey everyone, this is James from the OTI Coaching Team. Hope you're all doing well. And today I'm coming to you with a way of which you can work on your ball toss within the comfort of your own home. Now, if you followed any of OTI videos in the past, you know that in order to develop a great serve, you must have a consistent ball toss. So before we go into the drill here, I'm just going to briefly explain some of the key mechanics that you want to strive towards when tossing the ball. And the first thing you want to have is a straight tossing arm. That's one of the most important things on the ball toss. What we want to avoid is having any bending in the arm, since when we have a bend in the tossing arm, it makes it much easier for us to uh, activate the other moving joints, which is the elbow and the wrist. So we want to strive towards having a straight tossing arm. That's the first thing. And then from there, you're gonna start in a nice, relaxed and low position, just like so. And what you want to do is you want to turn your upper body away from the target. So it looks something like this. See how I turn my upper body away from the target and it's almost like I'm turning my back towards the net. Now, it's not that extreme. You have varying degrees, but just go to a position that's comfortable for you. But by turning my upper body away from the target, it's doing two things. Number one, it's allowing me to turn my shoulders uh, past the level of my hips. So I've created a separation angle there. But the second thing is, when I turn my upper body away from the target, it's going to result in a slight right to left movement on the ball toss. What we want to avoid is simply having a straight up and down ball toss, since that tells us that we haven't really engaged our upper body. We're not turning the upper body away from the target. And then from there, you're gonna lift the arm up as a unit from the shoulder. Lift them from the shoulder, just like so. You will release the ball at approximately eye level. And then after you release the ball, the toss and arm will continue to go up into a high finish position. So that's just a brief description on the toss in mechanics. If you want a more in-depth analysis on this, we've done more videos on it in the past. So please feel free to go watch those. But now what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to demonstrate the drill and then I will show you some of the key factors that you wanna to strive towards when you perform it. So. I'm going to go down on my knees here since I have low ceilings and I'm going to use a sponge ball for this example. And as you can see, I've simply placed an X right there, which just represents my contact point approximately. See how it's approximately above my right hitting shoulder. Now I'll just demonstrate a couple now. Turn away. Up. Okay, so that's the drill right there. As you can see, it's very easy to perform. But now, when you are doing this drill, there's a few things that you want to strive towards. The first thing, you want to be aware of the flight of the ball toss. What I mean by that is, when we do this drill, we want the ball to travel from slightly right to left. It'll travel right to left. And then the ball will fall down over the X, just like so. But the key part about this is, if you were to let the ball drop, the ball will continue to fall over to the left side of the X, since you have that slight right to left movement. If the ball simply falls straight down over the X, then you know that you haven't really turned your upper body away from the target. That's the first thing. And then when you are performing this drill, it's just very important that you keep your tossing arm up. What I mean by this is, it looks something like this. See how I keep the tossing arm up, just like so. That's a good habit to create. So let's do a few more here. I'll turn away from the target, keep the toss numb up. As you can see on that one, that's a very good example. The ball for, uh, fell a little bit uh, to the right of the X. That tells me that I released the ball a little bit too early. So all I have to do is make the subtle adjustment in the release point and make sure I release the ball at approximately eye level. So let's see if I can make that correction there. Release, it's a bit better, and again. That's good. Do two more. So as you can see guys, you can really effectively work on your ball toss within the comfort of your own home. Very easy to do. So I urge you to go out, give this drill a try, put in the repetitions, and just by developing a consistent ball toss, you really increase your chances to transform that serve into a real weapon. So yeah, give this drill a try. Let us know how it goes in the comments. And I look forward to seeing you guys' feedback.